So here are the two fan clutches. This is the new one that I just uh, ordered in, and then this is the one that came off the vehicle. And the vehicle uh, condition or the symptoms they're having, so again, this is a 95 little Nissan pickup truck, just a little base model 2.4 liter. Um, the, the reason the truck's here is whenever he's not moving quickly, you know, like on the highway or uh, moving on uh, open road, it overheats. So he's getting all of his airflow. From the motion of the vehicle he's not getting any of it from the fan clutch so you notice that there's a spring here this is like a thermostat spring it reacts to temperature so when the radiator gets hot it changes its position uh, according to what the demands for cooling are so this one you can shake it this way it doesn't move when you move it it's just it feels like a shock absorber stopping it you know just like that pressure just like on a lift strut or something so you can feel that it's getting some contact uh, this one, when you turn it, there's just no resistance at all. If I were to do that with this, I'd cut my glove for one. So let's try it on a smooth spot. It's just not going to happen. I mean, it's just really, there's a, there's a marked difference between the two of them. So we know we made a correct diagnosis. This is that same fan clutch. It looks a little bit different because I've been cutting on it to make a visual aid of it. But what you have is you have a bimetal spring, it's two different layers of two different metals uh, that are made into a spring so that it can respond to temperature. So I've done a little cutting there, and I've uh, done a little cutting here. And when the spring moves, it moves this shaft and it moves this with it. So this plate also has uh, been cut away, but just remember that little principle there. Let's show you what it looks like when heat's applied. move better if it wasn't so torn up and if this was braced a little better but you see how that closes as this cools down it'll open back up when the vehicle is hot you know like say it's hot at idle it creates almost a one-to-one -one torque uh, aspect where you have the same speed as the engine speed or the water pump speed uh, turning the fan but when it's not hot then it needs to be able to let go so we've got this plate out of the way and set it aside and then uh, I've also done a little cutting on this whole thing starting to get hot as the aluminum dissipates the heat that's why it's made of aluminum is to be able to do that so you cut this away you can see how this is grooved it's got channels cut into it uh, that fits into there and that's where the friction uh, happens between the two of them so I'll get that out of the way so you can see those grooves dramatically increase surface area that helps with temperature transfer but it also helps it to lock up with just even a light pressure from that spring. You can see the little uh, line there where they're machined and then uh, pressed together. There's that little uh, crimp where it's folded over right there. There you go. Anyway that's how a fan clutch works. That's what's on the inside of it. The job of a fan clutch is to allow the engine to be able to rev up and uh, not have a lot of drag from the fan, but also to be able to allow the engine to heat up where it runs the best. This is a really old school design. There's newer ones that are filled with uh, silicon fluid in the middle, and when the valve opens and closes, the silicone goes to the outside and locks it up, and then when it cools down, it goes back into the middle. It's pretty interesting. And then there's uh, electronically controlled ones. I did a video on the Cummins, I think it was a 2003 Dodge Ram. It has a little thing on the outside here. A lot of your Ford Explorers, the newer ones, have that too. It's more efficient to have it electronically controlled. If you have a bad fan clutch, um, they just freewheel all the time. And you'll notice that the fan performance isn't good enough to cool it and the air conditioning isn't good enough uh, when you're at a standstill. Today is Sunday. It's usually the day that I do a longer video, but it's also Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you guys. Um, so I'm going to keep it just a little bit short, uh, just because i got a bunch of activities and stuff. Uh, just got back into town from a fun trip. I'll be posting videos from that trip on my other channel, The Ski Viking. You can click a uh, link here. Sunglasses went flying. You got you're bleeding on the forehead just a little bit.
video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to click like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.